So I purchased these new fish at the Cichlid Club. And unless you were there on the night, you probably will not get this answer right. And as you can see, the males they just look incredible. That coloration is just insane. G'day guys, Jason here. Welcome back to my fish room. So in this week's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys some brand new fish that I bought. If you've been a subscriber on my channel for a while now, you know I don't regularly buy brand new fish from my fish room. However, when I do, they are quite special. So I wanna show you guys what I've recently purchased. So let's get into this week's video. So I purchased these new fish at the Cichlid Club. Our Cichlid Club is back up and running, thankfully, after almost a year. Our last meeting was in June, 2021. It's now April, 2022. And we had our first meeting just the other day. And yeah, that's where I purchased the fish. So we'll play a little game. See if you can guess what fish I bought. So I want you to pause the video, write down in the comments below what you think I bought, and then come back and play the video and see if you are correct. Because I'm pretty sure you're probably not gonna guess what I purchased. And unless you were there on the night, you probably will not get this answer right. Uh, because this purchase even surprised me. I didn't expect these fish to be in the auction. And I really had to jump at the chance to get some of them. So have you written down your answer in the comments section? If you're ready to see what fish they are. So guys, the fish I purchased are Cyanthopharynx Fursifer Risha. Bit of a tongue twister there. It's taken me a lot of practice to get that first name right. And uh, that's the best as I can pronounce it. But uh, if you know the correct pronunciation, please put it in the comment section below because uh, I'd like to get it correct because I absolutely love these fish. I'm gonna put some pictures up here. This is what these guys look like when they are sexually mature, when they are adults. And obviously these are the males. The females are a silvery colored fish. And as you can see, the males they just look incredible. That coloration is just insane. I'm really hoping mine turn out to be like that. And I'm really looking forward to seeing them grow and mature into adult fish. Now you can see here, I've got five juveniles. It's gonna take a while for them to get up to adulthood, uh, but being mouth breeding cichlids, that should happen a lot quicker than uh, your typical substrate spawners like this girl here, uh, Altoemprologus calvus. So the first of first should grow at a, a faster pace than these guys do, uh, actually a lot faster than Calvus. So you can see here, I've got them in a quarantine tank at the moment. They've been in quarantine for about a week so far, and they've got another five weeks to go before I introduce them into the system. I'm not sure whereabouts I'm gonna put them. I am thinking at the moment, maybe a four by two by two foot tank on the bottom row, or one of my brand new five foot tanks. They do like a large aquarium, but I have seen some tanks successfully have more than one male in the one aquarium, both at uh, opposite ends of the aquarium. So I'm hoping I would be able to get away with that in maybe a four footer. That's probably gonna be pushing it more than likely one of my brand new five foot aquariums. Might be able to get away with it there. Block the line of sight of the two males. They can have their sand pits at either end and hopefully spawning with some females. But that is in the future. Obviously these guys are still juveniles and they're just over the one inch mark, maybe pushing one and a half inches. Now these guys prefer a veggie diet. It's not recommended that you give them a high protein diet. So I've been feeding them Rapashi Super Green and some high quality pellets of spirulina. So they're getting a very good veggie diet there. And as you can see here, the guys are a little timid. Uh, they don't like me approaching the aquarium too much, but I have seen them from a distance be quite active, actively swimming in this uh, quarantine aquarium. So I'm really pleased about that. Also on the aquarium, I haven't turned the aquarium light on. Ease into the conditions I have in this fish room. And as their quarantine period progresses, I'll slowly, slowly introduce them to a brighter light source so they are used to these lights in the fish room and the conditions I have in here. So all in all, I can't wait to get these guys out of quarantine and into a larger aquarium and set them up so they can grow up into healthy adult fish and to finally, hopefully, successfully spawn them. Uh, these guys are beautiful fish. I'm really happy that I managed to get some and I can't wait to see them grow. So there you have it, guys, the new purchase for the fish room, the first of first. What do you guys think? Are you surprised? I'm actually surprised I managed to pick some up and I'm really looking forward to raising them in the fish room and hopefully spawning them in the future. But there you have it, guys, the brand new fish for the fish room. I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment, and consider subscribing to the channel. I really would appreciate it. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up now. Thanks heaps for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Sire, sire, tho, pharynx, sire, sire, tho, sire, sire, tho, sire, sire, tho, pharynx, sire, tho, pharynx, sire, tho,